Hi, it's Jez here from nigeza.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So today I'm bringing you a technique video. Um, I made this card for a blog hop and it was a Technique Tuesday uh, blog hop with the Crafty Collaborations. And um, it was a watercolour theme. And so um, I made this. I made this using... Um, the Touch of Ink, which is a uh, freebie stamp set during celebration. Uh, £90 spend gets you this lovely um, double uh, photopolymer set. So it's a two-step st two stamp set. <laughs> Try saying that without your teeth in. Um, and um, so the stamps are actually bigger than they appear in the picture. Uh, so I did a little simple wash, um, really, and um, I made this. I'm going to change it slightly uh, for the video. Um, I'm using our water painters. So these are our three set of three. Um, they have water chambers in them, so you don't need a bowl of water. And they come in three different styles. So we've got small, sort of medium, and then we have the, the wide bristle one. And that's the one that I'm using for, for making this, this wash. Okay. I don't know why I keep them in the packet. I just do. Not one for putting things away, but... These I kind of like that way. So um, I've used some thick Whisper White that the, for watercolouring, sort of, you're going to have water on it. So it kind of holds it a little bit, a little bit better. I'm going to use Highland Heather for this. So I've got a thick Whisper White card base and then I've got my usual matte size in uh, Highland Heather. I'm going to do the wash in Highland Heather and this I stamped on in um, black but I'm going to stamp with Gorgeous Grape and I'm going to stamp on this in Gorgeous Grape as well so that it's less of tone on tone and more sort of showy uppy if you get what I mean. So I'm going to do the watercolour in first and then we'll do the other stamping first so that it gets a chance to sort of dry off. Um, so I'm going to bring in a little bit of scrap that I've done watercolouring on before. So what what you need is you need a bit of ink. So I'm going to get an ink pad. Not an ink pad. A block. So it doesn't need to be this big one. That was just the one that came to hand. So got some ink on there. Got my brush, make sure I get some water to the bristles. Achoo! Excuse me. Get some nice. Yep, so I've got plenty of water there. But sprinkle some more on there. Pick up that ink. And then I'm just gonna. Do a wash, just a simple wash. You don't want to overwork the paper because it will um, pill. Is that even pill? I don't know my words, it's the middle of the night. Just want a bit on there. Okay. So I'm going to leave that to dry and then you just add some more water to your brush to brush out that colour. And then you're good to go again. OK, there's some slight staining, but it will it will wash out. OK, so I'm going to put that to one side um, to to dry. And then we'll get on with the rest of our stamping. I'm going to leave my scrap paper there, actually, because I'll probably be going off 
off on this. So I use the leaf one for that. I'm going to use the flower one for this. And I'm using gorgeous grape because I want it to show up a bit. Just thought I'd go all completely different. So... Coming in the sides. There we go, I think I want to come in here a little bit more. Don't think it matters that we've overlapped. I think that might just add to the effect. I think most of that's going to get covered up. Let me just have a little... Yeah. Yep, indeedy. Right. So this is still a little bit damp. So what I might do is get my heat gun and give it a blast. Which is another thing you can do. And then I'm going to stamp this image. Again, I'm going to go gorgeous grape, gorgeous grape on top of that Highland Heather. So just like that one had the black to make it stand out. I'm having this one to make it stand out. Oh, I do like that look. And I'm going for thinking of you this time. Like so. And then I just ripped it. I thought that gave it quite a nice sort of Of look so just There we go, quite like how that looks. Um, and then I just did a little simple um, bit of white twine, which we've now got back in the catalogue, uh, white twine. But we've also got this lovely, gorgeous grape ribbon. So I thought I might use a combination of the ribbon and twine in this one. I thought that would look rather nice. So I'm just going to cut that off. Put that on the back. Moved it as I went over. Right, so we're gonna, gonna put a bit of Bit of tape there to hold it in place underneath the thinking of you.
beautiful ribbon this. Of course it's purple. What's not to like? And then I'm just going to take a little bit of twine. And I'm going to put the twine under there. just tie once that way and then we can tie over and over actually that's it Do this again. That's going to pull all the way through. I don't want it to. Just do a knot after several attempts and getting it wrong. We'll just do a knot. That'll do very nicely. The right pickle there. And now I've done that, I'm not sure that I prefer it. Don't think I like it. Changing my mind. We'll have a little bow. I think that's better. I 
I think we need to move the bow a little bit. I'm getting stuck on where I put sticky on the back. There. That's what we want. So I'm going to stick that down before I change my mind. Again. I'm going to put a little glue top behind there. I'm sure other people will have done much more elaborate watercolour techniques. But I've just done a simple wash. Trim that a little bit more. And then a little blue dot, hold that in place. And we're done. Just fold the glue dot in half, give it a roll, pop it underneath the bow. To hold it in place so there we go that's a watercolor card slightly different for a slightly different look hope you like that i hope you see how just a simple wash makes um a little bit of a bit of a statement there behind um the stamps so i've gone for kind of tone on tone but not quite gone for stark contrast there so all the details will be uh, on my blog down below and um, I will link to the original blog hop as well so you can go and have a little look what other uh, watercolour techniques uh, people have used and if you wish to um, get this stamp set then all you have to do is make a £90 purchase and you'll get it free links to my shop down below and um, yeah see you again soon bye